Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a fascinating challenge in the world of image segmentation. Our viewer is working with a Keras model based on UNET and has a specific question. How can they use weighted categorical cross-entropy to improve their model's performance? They want to ensure that certain misclassifications are penalized more heavily than others, especially when some areas are crucial for accurate segmentation. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To implement weighted categorical cross-entropy in your UNET model, we first need to define a custom loss function. This function will allow us to assign different weights to different classes based on their importance. In the custom loss function, we will create a mask that applies the weights to the predictions. This mask will help us calculate the weighted loss for each pixel in the segmentation output. Next, we will iterate through each class and apply the corresponding weights to the predictions. This will ensure that misclassifications are penalized according to their importance. Finally, we will return the weighted categorical cross-entropy loss by multiplying the standard categorical cross-entropy with our final mask. This will give us the desired loss value for training. Make sure to pass the weights matrix when you compile your model. This matrix should reflect the penalties you want to assign to each class misclassification. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To use weighted categorical cross-entropy in a UNET model with Keras, you can create weight maps. These maps allow you to assign different weights to various regions in your data. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.